Okay, so I got another line on a piece of land up in Black Mountain, North Carolina. It's 25 acres, and supposedly it's absolutely beautiful. I don't really know many more details than that, but it's up a real rusty hill somewhere, so uh, we're gonna go check it out. Okay, so I'm just a few miles away right now. I've been going for about three hours now, and we are headed to Black Mountain, North Carolina. So look at this property, it's 25 acres. It's really gorgeous, and Here's what it says. It says bear, deer, bobcat, coyote, red fox, turkey, quail, pheasant. It does sound really cool. So I want to introduce you to our looking for land partners in crime, Ed and Debbie Somerville. Meet the Somervilles. All right, sports fans. We're on an adventure. We've just wound our way up through the Hickory Nut Gorge. Came past a, looked like a Cherokee Indian standing right beside the road on a Tuesday afternoon. Go figure. We've wound up here in the parking lot of the Broad River Missionary Baptist Church, established 1867. And there's a few dead guys on the hill there, and then there's this road that takes off into the forest. We're going to take the road less traveled and hopefully not wind up like one of those guys on the hill. So hang on, come along for the ride, we'll see what happens. Okay, so you say this is like a mile and a half up here? Yeah. Okay, so it's not Greybeard Realty that we're working with. I don't think so, no. You know, this is... Now, what's it naming? Uh, you're just... Because of how uh, so, uh, how close you are to things. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's trying to tell It's going to do that. I can actually cut that out. Well, you could figure it out all this technology. <laughs> the road up to here is great. Yeah, it is. It's just it's nice. Compared to... Well, we could have made this... In Oh yeah. This thing has got a tremendous amount of power. It'll do zero to sixty in four point nine seconds. Oh my goodness. The monster does it like six point nine seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it thinks we're in the middle of nowhere, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. So here we are. We are up on Mount... I don't know where we are. I don't know where we are high up. That's all I can tell you. We're high. Oh, no, no. Because it goes... That, this might be the pinnacle right there. So Mount Mitchell... You don't think that's Mount Wisdom over there? No. No, I don't. There, you can see, you, you can see mountains uh, in a kind of haze. Uh, they go up way higher than that. I just went up the trail here. First thing I saw was signs that a bear had been digging through a stump up there <laughs> and then just around the curve I looked down on the ground and there were deer tracks and bobcat tracks yeah so, they, they told me that they'd seen a bobcat up here we're out yeah. in the we are out in the country yeah yeah I'm glad Ed's got his big stick with him because That's right. all I have to do is beat him off with a cell phone <laughs> <laughs> Well, interesting day to say the least. We drove all the way from Charleston to Black Mountain, North Carolina uh, to see that 25 acres of land that I was telling you about. It was absolutely beautiful land, but one problem. The land was this steep. It was like straight up in the air. Um, I don't know how people drive like that. I, I mean, I guess if you're used to it, that's cool, but I'm not used to it and 
Uh, I'm not sure that anybody in my wife's family is used to it. And um, so I really don't know how useful it would be to, uh, you know, uh, have some land where you had to had to actually use a four-wheel drive vehicle to get there. So I think we're going to have to cross this one off the list, unfortunately. Uh, it was a great piece of land. I mean, it was so, so beautiful up there. But unfortunately, didn't make the cut. <laughs> Is that what I am? Mm -hmm. The detector man. Okay. I follow. I follow and dig things up. So far, bullets and tabs, but we're going to find some artifacts. March on. All right, here we are. We are out in the middle of the Francis Marion Forest. Looking for treasure, or something that looks like treasure. <laughs> what we're gonna find? What are we gonna find, Abby? What are we looking for today? Something old. Yeah. You got a bug on you. What kind of bug? I don't know. I think it's a deer fly. Ah. Thank you. Nothing says dork more than your Star Wars shirt and your metal detecting on the. Three day weekend. Really? I thought I heard it here. Let me try again. I have to go the other direction to kind of cut through some of those roots. The deeper it is, the better. Yeah. Okay. What is that right there? I think I see it. Yeah, it's right here. What is that? It's a piece of very weak metal. Let's see if you can clear that off a little bit for us. It's so weak. What is that plastic? It's rusty. No, it's not plastic. It wouldn't. Here, hold your hand up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's round. Uh. It looks like it's got a plastic coating on it as well. So. Okay. Yeah. Wait, here we go. Be a pop top. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there's something here. Well, got a little bit of something. Oh, it's not very small. Let me widen my range here. Here we go. Railroad tie! All right. We are not cool. keeping this. We have a bazillion of them. That's cool. Hey, well, we We're can. Not. Uh, not this is the wife that says we are not keeping. The rusty nails and the railroad ties. That's the railroad tie from the first railroad in America. We've been looking at it for for years. I mean, it was old. It yeah, was oh yeah. Boards. Yeah, it was. But we have those, and they're not worth anything because they are numerous. Makes you wonder where the railroad was, though. I don't know. We know it went through here. There's a bunch of railroad ties. Oh yeah. I'm glad this is not so littered with junk that it's going off every three seconds. This may have been an old homestead. We may find some stuff out here. Yeah. Come on. I 
This is beautiful. This is where I want to put my cabin. I guarantee there was a cabin here at one time. There probably was, you're right. Some old wood. Old pallets. This is junk. Hmm. On the most sensitive setting, so. Yeah, there's something down there. Probably some real reptiles. That would fascinate me if it was, to be honest. I'm really bad. I'm try to not do too much to the ground, but it recovers just fine. Urban snake right here. <laughs> we call we call an urban snake. <laughs> Somebody lost their chain. I don't think I'm gonna touch that. And they uh, didn't get very far. They were carrying their bike back the yeah. rest of the way. Metal detecting, as always for us, was not successful. Unless you count a railroad tie as successful, which I don't. The last thing that we were successful with was a 1700s hoe head. Hand forged. Which I'm sure Ed will show you at home. So we're hoping to find more tools like that, but... Insert hoe joke here. Don't insert hoe jokes anywhere. Yeah.